Over the past few months I've been able to generate around 3k in monthly sales from indie apps. It is close to ramen profitability, especially if you are ready to move to Thailand to do not pay heating bills. Considering it is part-time work, I'm happy with it. Why I'm telling you this? Well, not to show off or anything, but to inspire you to start your own side project. We spend much time building someone else's dreams on your day jobs, but what about our dreams and goals, right? The world of indie app development is full of possibilities and many solopreneurs out there are making tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. So while my numbers uh, may not be mind-blowing, I hope they interest you enough to start something as well. My biggest challenge was finding and managing time for indie app development. It took a lot of time to release the first few apps in the app store and after that I barely touched them and those were left there as portfolio items generating close to nothing revenue. As always, work expands to fill all the time available for completion, therefore planning and setting deadlines even for side projects is crucial. So I would like to share my framework for 30 day development sprints which I'll be using to build new products and add features to my existing apps. This framework helps me to stay on track and keep working on tasks instead of jumping between different ideas or hyper-focusing and wasting time on unimportant features of the app. And before I forget, <laughs> I will give away an excellent tool for indie developers later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Okay, let's jump in. A lack of idea for the app is the biggest excuse not to start side projects that I hear from others. Most of my apps I built for myself and if you are looking for app ideas that is what I recommend to every first time founder. If you don't have an app idea in mind yet start writing down even dumbest app ideas and at the end of the month you will have plenty of app ideas to choose from. Just keep writing them down. But anyways for app idea picking that is just one day. Next two days in my plan and framework is validate and research app ideas. Once you captured a few interesting ideas, it's time to validate them. Validating an app idea is crucial before investing significant time and resources into its development. Otherwise, you can build something and find that no one really needs this application. Many indie developers fail because they start with product ideas, build them and then look for an audience to sell. They fail because there are not enough customers. Maybe there are customers, but product is not good enough for the market for those customers. So many of possible problems. If you are building project for yourself, congrats, uh, you already know what are your kind of user needs and user goals. Otherwise, I recommend reading a book for on product validation. Okay, finally, it is time to start development. For MVP, I am planning 10 days and 10 days that is part-time development days. So it's one, maybe four hours, let's say three in average. So to fit in those 10 part-time days, you have to keep your development scope as small as possible and do not overcomplicate uh, it. If you can build your app on top of tutorials or courses that you took, great. Use the shortcut to get the mind functionality done as soon as possible. Once you are on stage where the mind functionality is ready, release the beta version using test flight and share it with your friends and early adopters and then you will get feedback from them and you should launch your app early it is crucial for collecting feedback from your potential customers as soon as you can this feedback will help you to make improvements and adjustments before wider release you know and remember those fancy features dark team can wait for version 2 do not do not put that in your mvp Getting your app out there and gathering valuable insights matters the most in this stage to understand. Does this project have legs, you know? Will this project grow? Is there at least some audience? So keep in mind that your project will never be finished. Ship it and keep working that goes in iterations. So you should be ready to launch in those 10 days, right? For launching, I, I'm planning two days for launching. The launching phase is the most nerve-wracking. You can get rejected by Apple. You need app icon, you need screenshots, you need a description for App Store, hashtags, that's a lot. If you are not designer, hire someone to help you. That can be designer on Fiverr or Midjourney chatbot uh, to generate app icon. If you are not designer, most likely any of them will come with better app icons than you can draw. I spent unnecessary amount of time on app icons in my past. 
and uh, learning design tools just to create app icon doesn't make big sense, you know. I better spend the time on the keywords and app description and more on that later. Okay, app is launched. Next stage in my playbook is growing, five days for that. Apple will give your app a boost for about a week after launch and you can get additional downloads and use that opportunity to ask for ratings. And uh, those ratings will keep you growing. So implement, that is one liner just to ask for ratings from the users. Easy to implement, definitely do that. When your app is out in the wild, it is time to focus on marketing. There are many ways for marketing, but App Store search optimization is your best friend. App Store optimization is the best marketing that I could suggest because you can do that almost for free. You can do that for free, but I recommend to get some tools for that. And App Store optimization can move your app from few downloads to few thousand downloads. So that's very efficient. And here is time for giveaway. Astro is the App Store optimization tool for iOS developers and his author also is an indie developer and he's offering five one-year subscription licenses for you guys. I will not stay longer on the keyword topic, but uh, you can download Getting Starter Guide and free version of ASO Starter Kit on the Try Astro app uh, website and just read about that. From my side, I will add uh, five licenses of uh, indie app building course where I'm talking about this same topic in more details. If you want to participate in this giveaway, just write a comment with Try Astro and yeah, I will pick five lucky winners. For a monetization, I'm giving for about 10 days, but again, that is ongoing process, same like um, App Store optimization. Lately, I do not care much about monetization of the app in early stages. If I can get decent interest for the app after <laughs> release, there is unlikely to be significant sales, so I do not care to have sales in a purchases in my application in day one. I prefer to get it early in the hands of users and then see what is valuable for them and how to monetize the app. Sales and marketing is ongoing process. You can't just set and forget, you have to work on that consistently. So keep pushing forward with marketing efforts, experiment with different paywalls, fine-tune your pricing strategy to maximize your revenue potential. I doubled my sales more than once just by working on that, improving paywalls, improving uh, onboarding flow without adding new features. And doubling revenue is quite a big thing, you know, if you are earning 100 and you are jumping on 200, that's a lot. From 1000 to 2000, it's even more nice jump, you know. <laughs> so. Believe me, that is very important. Been there, seen that, I'm talking from my experience. And there you have it. That's my 30-day development sprint framework. Remember, the most crucial step is getting started. Do not overthink your app project. Do not try to come up with next uh, Instagram or Facebook idea, you know. Start something <laughs> and then keep returning daily and working for about an hour or few on this project and just keep going. Many small projects multiply your chance to win this indie developer's game. When you finish one project, build the next one and return later to improve and grow successful projects even bigger. Take a look what works, double, double your improvements on those projects and yeah, keep experimenting. Hey, Editor Rivers here. I hope that all that video is not blurry and, I don't know, horribly cut because I edited all of it without my eyeglasses. I forget them at home and currently I'm at a beach house, so yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching till the end. Cheers.